To begin, pick the color correction icon from the main window. The Selective Color Correction tool is excellent for fine-tuning the color in your image. When you just can't seem to achieve the right tone by pulling a curve, try using this tool. With the Selective Color Correction tool, you can make adjustment to color ranges. For example, you can pull some magenta out of the reds without affecting the magenta component of the other colors. This image has a serious color cast. I generally will first try to use the Curves tool to remove this type of cast. However, with this image, adding some blue to remove the yellow cast starts to fix the problem but throws the rest of the image out of balance. The Selective Color tool works within a narrow range of colors, just what we need for this image. To use this tool, start by selecting a color you wish to adjust. If you are uncertain which color to pick, use the eyedropper and select a general area of the image you wish to enhance. The dominant color from your selection is automatically listed from the six colors. This will give you a good starting point to begin making your adjustments. Use your judgment and increase or decrease the different colors until you get the desired color. The eyedropper icon displays the original color from your selection. Below the icon, the adjusted color is shown. Use the Apply button to view your image before and after your adjustments. We can also adjust our saturation level with the saturation slider. If the color is shown in bold, that indicates a color value other than zero has been applied. Selecting the reset button returns all your selective color adjustments to zero. It does not affect any of your other flex color settings.